All right, hey everyone, how's it going? It's your brother Noah Hines. I hope that you guys are doing good and I'm excited for this video because I'm going to be talking about is it effective, is it wise to do deliverance over the internet? Um, as I've been doing deliverance over the internet, I have heard people make claims like deliverance cannot be done over the internet altogether or that it's just not the way that it should be done. And I'm going to be going over um, different things according to this. Some of you that might even be um, doubtful or anxious about doing deliverance over the internet hopefully this video can be a good resource for you so if you guys have not yet make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as I'm going to continue to put out more videos related to this topic Lord willing in the near future so something that I want to bring to your guys's attention right away is the fact that many other Christian things can be done over the internet such as prophecy such as healing teaching preaching all of these things can be done and ministered in an effective way over the internet. So I find it hypocritical of people to say that deliverance cannot be done over the internet, but all the meanwhile they're listening to teachings over the internet, all the meanwhile they see healings being done over the internet, all the meanwhile they see prophecy being done effectively over the internet, but for some odd reason deliverance seems to be ruled out in that equation. So really for somebody to make the argument that deliverance cannot be done over the internet, I would think to myself, why are they even on the internet in general? Because they would, to be consistent with their position, they would pretty much have to insinuate that God cannot use the internet. And we obviously know that God can use the internet, otherwise we, you know, would not be here on the internet right now. So for the simple fact that God can use the internet for all of these variety of other topics, why is deliverance not included in that equation? Is it possibly just another hang up to get people to not receive deliverance? I think many times this whole argument that deliverance cannot be done over the internet is just another way to hinder people from getting deliverance because the devil hates it when people get delivered. Another argument that people will make is that deliverance should only be done in private, that it shouldn't be posted on the internet, it shouldn't be done on the internet, and they act like doing deliverance in public is a bad thing. But there was never one time in the Bible where deliverance really was done in private. All of the deliverances in the Bible were a public spectacle. And when Jesus cast out demons, he actually purposely did it in front of the Pharisees. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 16 says, Ye are the light of, of the world, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So I believe that people can glorify God when they see deliverances. You know, when people say that it's glorifying the enemy to put deliverance public, they have a misunderstanding understanding of what's going on in deliverance. When deliverance is taking place, the enemy is not being glorified. He's being put to an open shame and God is being glorified. His power is being shown and how mighty it is. And you have to understand that the internet is like the equivalent of like a public town event uh, on the days that Jesus and the apostles were on this earth. Now I'm not insinuating it's the same in every aspect. Obviously it's not the same and it's not ultimately just as good as being in person, but it's definitely good enough and God definitely uses it. So if people are saying that deliverances should not be put on the internet, they should not be put on YouTube channels, they would also have to make the argument that deliverances should not be done in, pu uh, in public, they should only be done in private spaces. And that doesn't make any sense to me because all of the deliverances in the Bible were purposely done in public. I rather actually have question and sometimes suspicion for those who only claim to do deliverance in private settings where there's no testimony of it and it's done in like a, a shady environment, right? Now, I'm not negating the fact that there are people that do works to be seen of men in public. There are definitely those who have selfish and prideful ambitions to do things on the internet or to do things in public. But that doesn't mean that it's inherently prideful. That doesn't mean that it's inherently selfish or wrong to put deliverances on the internet just because, you know, some people may do it for selfish reasons. Now, there may be some people that say it's not effective or safe to do deliverance over the internet, 
But once again, I would come back to the same argument once again that I uh, proposed to you guys earlier. If teaching, preaching, prophecy, healing, all of these different things, worship, can be done effectively over the internet, why can deliverance not be done over the internet as well too? And not only that, I have seen countless people receive deliverance through the internet. Go on my YouTube community page and there's testimony after testimony after testimony of people receiving deliverance in Jesus' name over the internet. I've seen upwards of probably into the thousands or into a, a thousand plus people receive deliverance over the internet as I've been doing ministry. Now there may be a couple rare instances where people are just manifesting so intensely that the deliverance doesn't want to be, uh, you don't want to do the deliverance over the internet or somebody just has so many demons that it's just wiser altogether for them to go get deliverance in person at least in the beginning, right? But uh, you have to understand that God is protecting you when you receive deliverance. So if God is going to set it up where you get deliverance over the internet, you better believe that he's going to have his angels protecting you and he's not going to allow the demons to just flip out and go and you know do uh, crazy, uh, crazy random stuff when he's the one who is in charge of the deliverance as long as it's being done with wise principles by the minister. Now I do believe that there might be people that only can de receive deliverance in person but you know I kind of take the principle or the verse here of where Jesus said according to your faith so be it unto you. If you don't believe that you can receive deliverance over the internet then your faith is going to be hindered and uh, many times you might not be able to receive deliverance over the internet but if you have faith that God can uh, you know still use the internet um, or still use a minister through the internet then you definitely will be able to receive deliverance I see a very high percentage of people receiving deliverance um, over the internet um, a majority of people. Now, is it more thorough to get deliverance in person? Yes, most definitely. I mean, obviously, by this video, I'm not discouraging people from getting deliverance in person. I'm just saying, let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater, or let's not say one can't work because the other one does work, right? So I believe that doing deliverance in person can actually be more thorough many times. When I went to go get deliverance in person, it was a lot more intense and I got a lot deeper deliverance than what I had previously received um, just over the internet. So um, yeah, there'll definitely be times where you're going to want to get deliverance in person as well too. But um, you know, with the amount of deliverance that people need nowadays, it's wise to incorporate self-deliverance, watching self-deliverance videos. You know, those mass deliverance videos that are put out by deliverance ministers, what a great resource, what a great opportunity where you can just listen to as much self-deliverance prayer as you need and there's no cap on it. You can just listen to those videos, right? Now, there'll be times where you do need somebody to actually pray for you live or in person to get some of the deeper rooted ones out from time to time. But uh, I believe both should be incorporated in your walk. I have literally seen people receive such intense deliverance over the internet where they're like projectile vomiting or full on manifesting full blown big demons and they're just fine. I've never had an instance where they haven't been fine afterwards because they received deliverance over the internet. I've never once seen that happen and I've prayed for countless people at this point. And not only have I seen really intense uh, manifestations, but I've also more importantly, in my opinion, seen really big breakthrough, a lot of fruit where people's lives are radically transformed after receiving deliverance over the internet. So I believe that we can conclude that deliverance is possible, safe, and effective over the internet. Once again, would I ever discourage somebody from getting deliverance in person? No, most definitely not. I, you know, I think both are definitely wise resources to do. Um, but also at the same time, I believe when people have this fear of deliverance not working over the internet, many times it's just a fear that uh, the devil uses so that people will not get deliverance, right? So that people will not uh, ultimately receive prayer and get delivered. There's so many different things, so many different little things or religious things that the enemy might try to put in people's minds as to reasons of why they might not get delivered other than the actual reasons as why they won't get delivered, right? Many times people don't think about, you know, are they truly fighting their sin, repentance, do they have childlike faith? 
They worry about all of these small, other little obscure things as opposed to the weightier matters that really matter, right? So anyways, guys, I hope this video was a blessing to you. If you would like to learn more about deliverance, I'm going to have two videos that you can pick from here on the end screen of different teachings on deliverance that will help you to further understand the deliverance ministry. So you guys can check those videos out now if you want. And uh, may you guys be blessed in the name of Jesus. I will see you guys in the next video.